Hi everyone, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek and I host this channel. And I am a VIT ECE undergrad from the batch of 21 and I make videos on educational content related to placements and also masters abroad series. If you are interested for masters abroad series, the link is in the description, you can just check them out. And coming to this specific video, this video is about the Wipro examination that is going to be conducted from tomorrow that is 25th and it is going to be extended on a scale of 3 days. It is going to be conducted from 25, 26 and 27. In this video, it is going to be a refresher video where I am going to uh, analyze whatever the concepts that are going to be expected in this examination and you can just check out if you have prepared these concepts for your examination uh, which is coming the, in the upcoming days. And also, I will be explaining the eligibility criteria of the examination and various levels of what Wipro is going to conduct and also what are the conditions that Wipro has uh, faced or Wipro has mentioned for the students to qualify before giving them a job. So this is a very important video, you just check, check out the video until the end and if you still have any queries, I am going to give an official Wipro website link in the description or you can ask me in the comment section what are the queries, I will be happy to mention or clarify any of those. So why delay, let's dive in right into the video. First, let's discuss student's eligibility criteria. He should have 60% in 10th, 12th and bachelors. If you have CGPA in your bachelors, it should be 6.0 and above. So this is the basic eligibility criteria of the student. Coming to backlogs, he should have only one current backlog at the time of application and when, when he is at the time of joining the company, there shouldn't be any backlogs and this is one other important uh, point to note. Also, there should be only 3 years of gap between the student's 10th and more. So it shouldn't be more than this and the student should be enrolled only in full time courses for his 12th or also during his bachelor's. This is another thing to be noted. Coming on to job profile. This job profile is for a project engineer role and they are offering a compensation of 3.5 lakhs if bond broken for 1 year that is 75,000 is the amount that is to be paid as compensation. So these are the uh, basic job profile that the company is offering and these are the basic eligibility criteria that you need to keep in mind. Now let's go on to see the exam procedure and what are the different rounds for the selection of this particular examination for the particular role that Wipro is conducting. The first round is the online registration that the students do that is not a round but let's assume it to be a round so that is the first, uh, first task you need to do that is online registration that is followed by online assessment that is going to be conducted for the next three days. This is followed by business discussion. So business discussion is I am going to give a complete clear idea on my next video of what business discussion is going to be. So it is going to take a couple of days time before the exam completes and the results come out and they call for business discussion. So it is kind of an interview and after business discussion they are going to send you a letter of intent, intent that is LOI and where you are going to um, you share your experience of acceptance or rejection to the company and you also share the documents what are required for onboarding process etc that is a complete different procedure so after LOI you will be just joining the company so these are very, this is a very simple process that Wipro has followed this time and so why delay let's go on to see what is the complete exam syllabus and exam pattern for the next 3 days that is going to happen so coming on to online assessment test, it is conducted for a total time of 128 minutes. It has three rounds in it. The first one is logical round where they are going to conduct, where, where they are going to ask logical aptitude and quantitative questions and verbal questions. So this is one of the round. Next one is followed by written English round that is English communication round where you need to write an essay. Third one is going to be coding round where that is going to be connected where you are going to ask they are going to ask two coding questions you are going to type in a compiler and the total exam time is 128 minutes the first round is going to be 48 minutes second round is going to be 20 minutes and third round is going to be 60 minutes so this is how the exam pattern has been designed by the company Wipro company this year so now in the next part of the video I am going to explain what are the topics required and the, what are the topics that the student should have studied by now or should study for the exam in the upcoming days. 
also before going into that path i wanted to explain you guys that the next video is going to be how to write an essay writing for the wipro examination if you see that video you will be clear and i'll give you a clear cut idea on how to write an essay for every exam because i have written my gre and ielts as well so i completely have an idea on how to write an essay writing so i will be giving you a clear idea and check out the video on my channel it is going to be released soon just in a day or in a half a day so just after this video it is going to release as well so please stay tuned to my channel and that is going to come as well i'm going to completely explain about how essay is going to be written you can see that that will be enough for the second round what is going to be conducted in the wipro examination so coming on to the topics what are required i am going to explain sectional wise what are the topics which are important so I'll, be, I'll just make the screen blank the topics are going to be displayed on the screen you can just check them out and you can analyze accordingly so coming on to logical ability the exam is going to be conducted from statements and conclusions coding and decoding puzzle tests or venn diagrams etc from logical diagrams and direction sense test and series completion test also analogy classification missing characters kind of puzzles blood relations and data sufficiency coming on to quantitative ability certs and indices averages lcm hcf divisibility number theory and decimal fractions etc allegations and mixtures and problems on ages time and work and pipes and cisterns which also comes under time and work principal interest and compound interest and also various other logarithmic and permutations and combination questions and coming on to geometry ratio and proportions and algebra are also going to be included in this and coming on to english ability test they may ask questions various questions from reading comprehension or incorrect and uh, correct sentences which may be from grammatical errors and sentence completion questions synonyms antonyms spotting errors also sentence improvement and sentence rearrangements as well so these are some of the topics need to be written coming on to english essay writing i'll be making a separate explanation video on how you can write so i'll be explaining a complete overview of how to write an essay so that will be enough and if you see that you can write a essay or any topic so that is very important just check out the video it is going to come out soon on my channel and these are the topics you can expect for the next examination what is going to come if you have missed out or prepared not prepared properly do prepare them now immediately and write your exam well all the best check out my channel for many much content of placement preparation series and various other related videos all the best guys thank you so much for staying so long stay safe stay informative this is vek signing off bye bye